Okay, everybody, today we are going to do IXL J2, decimal division patterns over increasing place values. So here, the whole point when we're dividing with decimals is to think of place value, okay? And you need to think of the decimal point being able to move to the left or to the right. Now, if the decimal place is moving one way or the other, how does that affect the value of the number, okay? If you can get um, comfortable with understanding how the decimal place and where the decimal is in the number affects its value, then you'll be able to do these, uh, these patterns, okay? So let's look at this first one. This one uh, is a little tricky at first. It's saying, what divided by 10 equals 682.2? Okay, so 682.2 divide, what divided by 10 equals that? So you have to almost think backwards, and it has to be a number that's bigger than 682.2. So thinking of this, what number is bigger by one place value? 682.2. So let's write this down. I already have some examples from a different one, but let's write down this new one here. We have 682.2. Okay. So if we have this number and we divided where it's at by 10, then we would move this over one place to the left because we're trying to make it smaller if we're dividing by 10 right? But the question is asking, this number has already been divided by 10. So what number divided by 10 equals this number? So it has to be a number where this is one place value bigger. So notice that when you move a place value over, like for example, if we move our decimal from the two over here, right? That's making the number bigger. That is multiplying by 10. Okay, so every time you move a place value one way or the other, you're either multiplying by 10 or dividing by 10. Okay, so this would be times 10 and then 682.2, right, times 10 equals 6822. Okay, so this is our new number, and then our now our decimal is here, okay? Now our decimal is here. Um, so, if we had this number, 6822, and we were going to divide by 10, so 6822, right? And we want to divide 10, then if our decimal place is here, and we're dividing, that means that we're making the number smaller. So when you're dealing with 10, the decimal just moves one place value, or there's one scoop, right? So divided by 10, we're gonna move over to the left there once, because you wanna make the number smaller. When you're dividing, you're making the number smaller, right? When you're multiplying, you're making the number bigger. Understand that concept. When you're dividing, the number gets smaller. So it's okay to move the decimal around to experiment. Okay, so I think that in order to answer this original question, what divided by 10 equals 682.2, it would have to be a number greater than 682.2, which means that we would have to move the decimal place over uh, one place value, right? So this 6822 divided by 10 would equal 682.2, okay? Uh, so let's go ahead and put that in here. What do we say? It would be 6822, 6822, okay? Then if you're dividing 68.22, so if we have some number divided by 100 equals 68.22, then in order to 
figure out what this missing number is, we have to do the opposite. So this is saying divide by 100 equals this. So that means if we multiply this number by 100, we'll know what this number is. So how do we multiply 68 times, 68.22 uh, times 100? What would we do? Well, if we're multiplying by 100, that means that this number, 68.22, is going to get bigger, okay? 68.22, it's going to get bigger. Now, when you move a decimal one place value, you're moving it by 10. So that's times 10. And then we move it over again, that's times 100. And so I think we're back to the original number, 6,000... 6,822, right? 6,822 divided by 100 is 68.22, okay? Divided by 100. Know that the decimal place now is here, okay? Whenever you have a whole number, the decimal is always to the right of the ones place. So this is the ones place, the decimal is always to the right, okay? So if you're dividing this by 100, that means that this number needs to get smaller by two place values. One, two, and yeah, that would be 68.22. So I think we're back to 68.22 here. Uh, 6,822 divided by 100 is 68. Okay, so now you can see divided by 1,000. Now we have 6.822, all right? So if you have that original number, 6,822 divided by 1,000. Okay, so let's just write it down so you can see. So if you have 6,822, right? And you're gonna divide this number by 1,000? Well, all whole numbers have a decimal to the right of the ones place. Okay, and then there's a zero here in the tens place too, All right? But we don't need to worry about that right now. But there's a zero there, and there's just a string of zeros, tenths, hundredths, thousandths, okay, that go to the smaller uh, place values. But if we have a whole number, 6,822, and we're going to divide this number by 1,000, so divide by 1,000, notice how there's three zeros and 1,000, right? So we know we need to move that place value three times. But when we're dividing, what happens? The number gets smaller. So if I were to move the decimal to the right, that would make this number bigger, right? So I have to move the decimal to the left to make it smaller. So this number would then become here, okay? So now the decimal is there, 6.822. Because you're dividing by 1,000, so it got smaller. 6,822 divided by 1,000 is now just 6.822. And you know, if you were to mul multiply, so 6 times 1,000 gives you 6,000, okay? So it makes sense in that way. All right. So I believe in this case... We just have 6,822 each time. 6,822. Woo! Got it right. Okay, let's try another one here. So, in this case, we have 497 divided by what equals 4.97. Okay. So, here, it's all about making the number bigger or smaller. So if we have 497, okay, 497, and we have to divide by a number equals 4.97, what are we going to divide by to get our decimal here? Right now, currently, our decimal is right here. It doesn't actually tell you that. You have to know that. That's kind of the secret key or the secret door to this, okay? You have to know that there's always a decimal point there, whether it's shown or not, and you have to put it there. You know that it's always going to be to the right of the ones place, and then 
we can get our uh, missing number here by moving the decimal one way or the other. Now, we have to divide by a number to get 4.97. Well, if our decimal is here and we divide by 10, we would come here, okay? Because if we're dividing by 10, we move it one place and it would get smaller by one place value, then we'd have 49. So we need to divide by another place value, which would be 100, and that would give us the 4.97. So if we divide by 100, then we would get this, okay? 497 divided by 100 equals 4.97, okay? It's just about the place value moving. So the next question here, it just builds on this, okay? It says 4,970 divided by what equals 49.7? Okay, well, we are getting better at this. We know that, oh, well, if we're dividing by a number, this original number has to get smaller. But how do I make it smaller? Oh, I know. We have to put a decimal point there to the right of the ones place. And once we do that, now we know we can make it smaller. Okay, so how do we make it smaller? If I moved it to the right, what would happen to the number? It would get bigger. So I know I need to move it to the left. And if I move it once to the left, that's divided by 10. Okay? You notice how it's like also like ones place, tens place. So I'm dividing by 10. All right, that's not quite it. We need 49. So I'm gonna divide again Uh, by 100. Oh, so notice they increase the value of our original number too. So this one also is 100. Okay, let's try the next one. So the next one is 49,700 divided by what equals 497. Okay, so they increased the place value on us. Do you think we're going to divide by 100 again? Maybe. Let's find out, though. Let's make sure, okay? Let's not just jump to conclusions. So now our decimal is here, okay? Right here. Now, in order to get 497, this, we have to move the decimal over 10, 100, okay? So we have to divide by 100. Yep. Okay. And so the next one also you would divide by 100. Uh, divide by 100. Let's see if we can tab. Yeah. 100. Tab. 100. Tab. 100. All right. Uh, I hope that's helpful. We are going to end, uh, let's do one more, one more quick one, because this is a little different, and then we'll end this video, because I'm trying to keep them uh, shortish. Okay, so this is saying, whoa, 0 0.07785 divided by 10. If you're not writing these down, you should certainly be writing these down with me while I'm solving them. You should be solving them with me, not just watching, okay? Solve them with me. That's how you learn. You got to do it on your own, too. All right, so this number divided by 10. Let's check this out. Well, okay. We're dividing, so what has to happen to the number? Mr. Voigt, I know if we're dividing, the number has to get smaller. So in order for this number to get smaller... What has to happen to the decimal point? Well, right now, this is like a really small number. We have the tenths place, because this is to the right of a decimal. Tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths, hundred thousandths. So this is, oh my gosh, how do I even say this? Uh... Uh, 7,785 thousandths, okay? 700... <laughs> I'm, I confused myself. Tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths, hundred thousandths. So this would be... 
seven thousand seven hundred eighty five thousandths no seven hundred seventy eight uh well this is the hundredths place so seven hundred so seven hundred seven hundred and eighty no seven hundred thousand seven hundred and eighty five Wow, okay, so divided by 10, the number has to get smaller. So that means the decimal has to move to the left to make this even a smaller number. So this number divided by 10, our decimal would move over. So in this case, to make this divided by 10, okay, we're gonna make it even smaller. So now it becomes 0. 0, 0, 7, 7, 8, 5. Okay. Uh, point zero zero seven seven eight five. Okay, so next one, we'll tab down. So now we have... 0.7785, okay, so 0.7785, this is a really small number, right? A really small number, we have 7,785, okay, 10 thousandths. So, we're dividing by 100 now. If we're dividing by 100, this number needs to get smaller. Well, if I moved my decimal to the right, then that would give me seven whole, 7.785. That gets bigger. So I need to move it to the left. Two place values. Okay, because we're dividing by 100. So this decimal, okay, is going to move over two place values. One, two, and now it's here. So our new number is 0 0.007785. Oh, look at that. It's the same. Point zero zero seven seven eight five. Okay, so I'm just going to assume the other ones are that way too. Notice, though, here, now we have 7.785, right? If you're dividing by 1,000, look at how many zeros. That's how many place values, okay? So in this case, if we're dividing this number, 7... 0.785, then it's going to get smaller, so we have to go over 1, 2, 3, and that'll be 0 0.007 again, yep, 0 0.00785, oh, 7.785, did you catch that? All right, and we'll just do that one more time, and notice here, 10,000 has four place values, <coughs> So we're going to make this number smaller by moving the decimal over four places. One, two, and then there'll be two zeros. So again, point zero zero seven seven eight five. Okay, that'll be it for this video. Good luck. Have fun.